G'day my friends, Marty Ware here from Marty's Garden. Thank you everyone for watching all my videos, I love you all. And if you've been following along and watching my straw bales grow, then you would know that they've been going for quite some time. You see, they're nine to 10 months old and they're turning into humus. So I've made this short little video showing you what the soil breakdown looks like and what the next steps are for me growing this type of garden. Because I know there's quite a few of you following this and want to implement it too at home. So watch this short segment and then come back because I've got more to discuss about the next steps to take for growing your food at home just like this. So these are the newest bales and they're still uh, six months old round about and they're quite high. I haven't really given them a huge amount of nitrogen but they're growing lots of leafy greens out of there which is pretty much what I want and they're on a slow breakdown process. Now this bale here, you can see the new little sprouts coming up there. The little lettuces and leafy greens and things I threw some seed in. Pretty much is turning into humus now and I want to give you a look at what the soil looks like after it starts to break down. Now we've got some bit of grass growing out of it, which is pretty, not very common, but you know, grass spreads around. So we can see here, we've got some little sprouts and things coming up. And if we look down deep into the soil, we can see it's still quite friable and it's got that beautiful texture to it where it's still a bit blocky, which means the roots can really get in. When I removed the red vein sorrel, the worms were just alive in here. And like, look at that structure, that blocky structure which means it's still very aerated. Roots can get in and move around. And if we look here, this is the part that hasn't broken down the most. And as we dig underneath it here, I'll bring some soil out. You can see that it's still got some straw in there that needs to break down, but across here more in the center, wow, this stuff, just beautiful. Still got a lot more to go yet, so, I'll be able to plant into this again, like these leafy greens that you're looking at here. And the tomatoes will go into here this spring, and then I'll just mulch them on top. I'm throwing rock dust in here at the moment to start to get it just simulated through. So it's broken down when the tomatoes get in here. Just brilliant. And this is all on top of like pure sand. Underneath me, there's hardly any topsoil or whatever in the sand where I, the place where I'm renting. So what's the next steps for this type of garden? Well, basically it's a straw bale garden. It's been breaking down slowly. I've been planting in it off and on. Oh, the whole time actually I've been planting it and just consuming and getting lots of food out of it. It produces a ton of food. And the whole concept is with this permaculture method that I've been developing over time, is for it to keep on improving. So this loop that I'm creating inside my backyard where the worms come in, the birds are coming in, everything's the insects are coming in, the micro fungi's getting better, the microbes are building up, everything's starting to get into this looped up system. Well, now that's in the second stage where it's in the humus stage where I'm planting uh, my lettuces and different things in there. So I've thrown a mescaline mix in there so I'll have a whole lot of stuff come up that I'll just be harvesting from for soups and stir fries and a little bit of salad because it's a bit cold now. And then as the spring comes on, it'll be broken down into beautiful soil and I'll plant the tomatoes in there. And so that space is just gonna keep getting better and better and better and better. And then the concept is, is once that's completed then, is to throw all that compost that's finished up back on top of the next bale. And what that does is that produces and brings all those microbes that were locked in there back into the system again and they just start breeding up and just going gangbusters again so you're creating this loop this perfect loop and if you want to you can actually grab the last bits like I have now and throw it into a composting system and lock all those microbes and worms and everything back into the system so it keeps on getting better and better and better now if you live in a cold area don't worry about that, you can still do it, just compost it, keep those microbes and everything alive because you've got a nice warm compost system, or throw it into some worm farms and lock it back in there again, bring it back out when the season's ready to go, and you're going gangbusters, and you're gonna grow a ton of fresh food at home, all in that one little space. 
If you're digging the Marty's Garden Show, then please consider subscribing before you go and click on that bell button so you keep notified each time I bring out a new video. And we'll see you at the next one real soon. Bye for now. Bye.